message brought to you by Snow Teeth Whitening. Whiten your teeth in nine minutes anywhere you go. And use the promo code Let It Snow for 25% off today. Check the description and pin comment for that link. Welcome back, everybody. So before we get into this video, I wanted to give you a quick explanation about the backstory. It all started when Robert Nawar of Normal America with Robert Nawar contracted the coronavirus and then was mocked for it by the producer of the Dylan Byrne show, which I believe used to be on Twitch, but is now on YouTube. And by the way, Robert has never been anti-mask and he says that anytime he's gone out, he's always worn a mask. So not only did this guy mock Robert, but he also insulted his pregnant wife. Robert pointed out the obvious hypocrisy of Dylan Burns and his producer who attend these mass BLM rallies, which ignore experts like Dr. Fauci, who said that nobody should be attending these mass events. Increase the spread of the virus. Do protests increase the spread of the virus? Uh, I think I can make a general statement. Well, half a million protesters on June 6th alone, yeah. I'm just asking that number of no. people, does yeah. it increase the spread of the virus? Cra crowding together, particularly when you're not wearing a mask, contributes to the spread of the virus. Should we limit the protesting? I, I'm not sure what you mean should, how do we say limit the protesting? Should government limit the protesting? I, I, I don't think that's relevant to... Well, to, you just said if it increases the spread of the virus, I'm just asking should we limit it? We've heard a lot about hair salons. I haven't seen one hairstylist who between haircuts goes out and attacks police or sets something on fire. But we've seen all kinds of that stuff during protest, and we know the protest actually increased the spread of the virus. You've said that. I said crowds. I didn't say specifically. I didn't say protest do anything. So the protests don't increase the spread of the virus? I didn't say that. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I, I, want, I, would, I just want an answer to the question. Do the protests increase the spread of the virus? I, I don't have any scientific evidence that anything. I can tell you that crowds are known, particularly when you don't have a mask, to increase the acquisition and transmission. No matter so what you don't have a position is. after this lengthy Twitter battle They decided to bring it on to Robert's channel This thing went on for about two hours and I've condensed it down to about 15 minutes But if you'd like to watch the entire thing, I'll put all those links in the description and in the pinned comment Up can you hear me? I can hear you. So, uh Yeah, my guest here is mr. Gick uh, Fair to call you producer for Dylan Vern show. Is that a fair? Uh yeah, just a quick, uh, I'm not his producer, I'm just uh, video editing and I help him with um, basically when does a PDP. Okay, so basically we have two things to talk about. Um, your claim that only people that deny science and break the orders get COVID, uh, so therefore they've kind of brought it on themselves. And uh, your hypocrisy that it's okay for you and your lefties to break the social distance orders uh, because you're good people or something, so it's okay for you. Uh, but then you'll go on and say other people that violate the orders deserve to be in jail. So it's up to you. Which one would you like to start with? I don't care. Oh, uh, Instead of I mean, we, messing around, we'll just go to the quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, sure. Now, first off, even someone who was on here uh, that was disagreeing with me that's actually a fan of Dylan's uh, told you that that's why you were wrong, that it was wrong to imply that I deserve COVID because I didn't follow the orders when I told you explicitly that I actually followed the social distance orders more than people like Dylan. Yeah. You didn't respond to them either when that was pointed out to you, correct? Um, yeah, I didn't because uh, basically, uh, like Dylan asked me to uh, not to, <laughs> not to. Uh, I mean, um, like if you want, I can show a video. I don't have a problem with that. But he literally say, "Yes, yeah, stop spamming my wall." Okay, but that's irrelevant to the fact that you could have said, "Oh, geez, that's not what I was doing." Here's what you said. But hey, Dylan went to a protest wearing a mask, tried his best to respect social distancing, and didn't get COVID. You, on the other hand, what do you mean, you, on the other hand? Now, you know I have COVID, correct? You, on the, on the, you on the other hand, get COVID. Right. So, in other words, Dylan did the right thing. Me, on the other hand, right? That's what you're saying there. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so can you explain to me what I did uh, that predictably led to me getting COVID? I had, uh, so we talked, uh, I, not a lot, but I think a few times, basically, yep. on Prime Kai and everything. 
And yeah, every time uh, the last conversation we had was on Prime Kai, where you were literally like debating the efficiency of masks. No, what I said so, was I understand people that are skeptical of masks, seeing as how the medical leaders in this country lied to us about masks originally, and then proceeded to be hypocritical and said, you should avoid all social gatherings, unless it's for Black Lives Matter, and then it's somehow acceptable. I said, so I can understand why people don't wear masks. Now, I have hundreds of hours in the past three months up on my channel and I challenge you to show me one time where I've said I didn't wear a mask. I wear a mask everywhere I go. My mother-in-law works in hospice, so I was concerned about possibly getting COVID and spreading it to people that are elderly and have comorbidities. I worked in the home healthcare field, so not only was I required to wear the mask through work, but I, just to be a decent person, didn't want to spread COVID to people that had tons of other illnesses. So I don't know if the masks work or not. But I do know this, I've wore one. I also know that I haven't attended any large gathering since at least March. So unlike Dylan, and unlike the people in Black Lives Matter, I listened to the social distancing guidelines, and I listened to the experts once they changed their minds and said that it was important to wear masks. But some piece of shit like you implies that I deserve COVID based on nothing. So again, never say you deserve COVID. But no, you just that's said point. what you just said that unlike Dylan, who did things right, I got COVID, which means I must have did something wrong. Then your yeah, next comment say, is, and yet people who wear masks and respect try their best to respect social distancing, trust science, and don't cry about it. Don't get sick. In other words, everyone who got sick must have not wore a mask, not respected the science, and not respected social distancing. You piece of shit. So go ahead and tell all the people that have had loved ones that died of COVID. Well, hey, that's their fault. They didn't respect the social distancing. Go ahead, let's let's hear it. Are you okay? You seem big, mad. Oh no, no. It, you see, I enjoy. I'm having a great time. I enjoy putting out, put, uh, pointing out faux left wing moral superior people like you that are actually piece of shit hypocrites. I enjoy this. This is what I actually do. Do you need to get Dylan's permission before you respond? Is that what you need? No, I'll wait. Go ahead. Get his permission. That's what you said. Explain to me then someone who got sick. So surely then you're saying that people that got sick didn't wear a mask, didn't respect social distancing, didn't trust science, and they did cry about it. That's what your words were. Once it was called out what a piece of shit you were, you were like, oh no, I'm just blaming people that question masks. Well, you don't have any proof of me questioning masks, asshole. And you said, unlike Dylan, I got sick. So what do you mean, dickhead? So yeah, if you want to take this as backpedaling, sure. Like, you know, oh. I don't give a shit about like what you think and how you interpret shit. Well, that's, that's I literally a said, I literally said in the message after, no, I blame every person who got sick and who debated the efficiency of masks. Mm -hmm. Right. So why is it okay for you to violate social distance orders? Um, never say it was. You said it was okay for Dylan. Okay, if you want to compare the two cases, because let's compare basically what we are talking about. We are talking about someone who owns a gym, which is an uh, indoor shit, who is known to be one of the places where the vi virus is like, uh, basically it's considered as a super spreader place. Cool, show me any piece of evidence that that gym caused one case of COVID. I can show you evidence that Jim caused case of COVID, or you can use your fucking brain. If you right, I can use my fucking brain. If hundreds of thousands of people are gathering shoulder to shoulder screaming, they're spreading COVID as well. I can use my fucking brain. It's you that can't, you piece of shit. Here's the difference. You can talk about the difference. You're like every great leftist hypocrite. Do you understand the difference between indoor? Do you understand the difference between indoor and outdoor when it comes to spreading COVID? I do. Let me ask you this. I didn't attend an indoor event or an outdoor event and violate social distancing. Dylan did. So who's more responsible for spreading COVID, me or Dylan? Um... Oh, no, no, no. It's okay for us to pick and choose which social distance orders to stand by because we feel some of them are more important than others is fucking bullshit. People like you spread COVID. And then you have the nerve to get on and blame other people and say, but they spread it worse. Fuck you. You don't get yeah, to choose. No. You don't get to choose which scientific orders you want to follow and then criticize other people who do the same thing as you. Say, I've chosen which orders I want to follow. 
Now, unlike you, I didn't blame Dylan for spreading COVID. I didn't blame, in fact, I talked often. I think Black Lives Matter is a terrorist, domestic terrorist organization. I think they're horrible. My town had a Black Lives Matter rally. It was totally peaceful. I went to social media and applauded them and said, I disagree with your movement. You guys were peaceful. I don't care that it was against pandemic restrictions. You have the right to express yourself. No problem here. But pieces of shit like you say, yes, that Black Lives Matter, they're allowed to violate the social distance orders, but not people that want to keep their business open. You don't Again, get to comparing... claim... Okay. No, no, what I'm comparing is, you can make an argument and say, I think some social distance orders are worthwhile, I think others aren't. But what you don't get to do is say, oh, I'm somehow morally superior and think people that violate social distance orders should go straight to fucking jail, which is what you said in your tweet, right? But then simultaneously advocate for, oh, but I think it's okay when people that politically agree with me violate social distance orders. You're a fucking hypocrite. And then you I have the nerve know. to blame people that get sick and I say, know. well, they must have, they must have, it must be their fault that they got sick. You're just the lowest of the low. You're a sack of shit. That's what you are. But you're a great model for the left wing. That's exactly who you people really are. Go ahead. Uh, there's someone in my hometown, and actually an elderly person, I think that his son will be watching right now, uh, who just passed away of COVID last week. So I'd like to tell his son why you think it's okay for your side to violate social distance orders and spread the pandemic. Could you speak to him directly why that's okay? Do you understand the difference between indoor and outdoor when it comes to uh, spreading COVID? Can Do you, you understand can, why gym? Let me ask you this. Can COVID spread outdoors? Yes. Okay, so then you took and a chance. You're advocating. You're telling people. You're literally comparing jaywalking to robbing a bank. My chance of spreading COVID was only 10%, but the gym owners was 20%. Therefore, I'm a moral person and they should be in jail. You are advocating people to violate social distance orders which you know will have a chance to spread COVID. You just say it's less of a chance than that gym. Fuck you. Explain to the people that died of COVID why it was worth it for you to go ahead and say, well, my protest is important. So we're going to go ahead and take the risk of spreading COVID. Go ahead. Explain to the people that died of COVID why that's acceptable. Are you done? Until I feel like it again. Sure. Go explain to them. All right, can you look up the difference in terms of spreading when it comes to indoor versus outdoor? You fucking hypocrite. What does that have anything to do with you advocating? What does that have to do with you advocating for I people to violate social shit. distance um, orders? You want to turn this into my side versus your side. I don't give a shit. It's not about politic at all. It's not about like BLM. I don't give a shit if it was BLM or if it was like a... Uh, like fucking like uh, I don't know Trump rally or anything. Mm -hmm. It's about like the basically like uh, the like yeah like what spread COVID the more. That's what, not uh, what it's what about. What it's it's about this than, is uh, who's other. making it political. One person saying either we should listen to the scientists and the social distance orders or we fucking shouldn't. That's my argument. Your argument is no no no. no. We should pick and choose which social distance orders to listen to based on politics. You're the fucking person making it political. You're the person who says certain people are allowed to violate the orders, but others should be in jail for it. I mean, go ahead. Contact tracing, right? Mm -hmm. Contact tracing. And you can also use your fucking brain. Like if you're doing physical exercise in the gym, you're going to breathe a lot more. I'm not going to going listen to... to people making excuses for hundreds of thousands of people gathering shoulder to yeah, shoulder okay. screaming. Tell me about using your brain. Okay. If you don't want contact to tracing money. is how they were coming up with the study that you just talked about. If you get COVID, they ask you, where all were you at? And then they're able to get, once enough people get COVID, they're able to look and they're able to determine by asking everyone where they went, the places where they may have got COVID. That's how they do it. So when people say, oh, well, actually, Black Lives Matter didn't spread COVID, would it surprise you to know that they told the contact tracers not to ask people if they attended Black Lives Matter rallies? Now, why would they do that? And how do you explain the lack of spike, basically, when it comes to case, like uh, three weeks after uh, after a protest? 
Because it wasn't the time of year where there were spikes in COVID. Wait, but they still attend uh, protests. If protests are responsible for spreading COVID, let me ask as you much this. as did, like uh, indoor okay, gathering. Okay, okay, here we go. D uh, did Dylan attend a rally a couple weeks ago in DC? Yep. Did COVID cases spike around that time? You know that there's a period of incubation for the virus. Right. COVID cases are spiking right now, right? When was that rally? Oh, two uh, weeks ago. Yeah. For, time for the incubation period, right? The truth Can is these mean? Black Lives Matter rallies have been occurring the entire time. Maybe if we didn't uh, have if we didn't have left wingers and left wing health experts by the thousands general. saying saying it, it's okay to go out there and violate social distance orders, maybe the illness would have been wiped out. But no, hypocrite pieces of shit like you didn't care about the pandemic. It was more important for you to go LARP and wear your mask with your little shield saying, we hate white supremacy. That was more important. So you chose or your friends chose to violate the social distance orders saying, oh, but we don't know if that caused the spread. You knew it had the chance to and you were selfish pieces of shit and you didn't care. You're done? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, aren't, you, uh, aren't your country basically in general is like, basically on like, um, there's an increasing number of cases of, um, of COVID cases right now? Yep. So how do you identify basically that like this, prote uh, this protest in particular was responsible for this, uh, for this spike? Because basically that was your argument. The number of cases are um, raising. No, 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 no. no. Your like, argument was that wasn't my argument. It, the inverse is true. It was your argument that Black Lives Matter must not have spread COVID because we didn't see a spike in case after the rallies. That's bullshit. We have. Show me where. Okay. Is was there Black Lives Matter rallies recently? <laughs> Sorry, this is the most stupid argument ever. Right, you are making yeah. the dumbest fucking argument I've ever heard. There have been Black Lives Matter rallies continuously all summer. Have there been spikes in cases? No. Yes. Not due to the protest. Prove it. Oh, easy. Uh, give me a sec. Uh... Right, you're going to cite evidence that says contact tracers say that there's no evidence that these rallies cause case spikes in cases. But the contract tracers were told not to ask people if they attended the rallies you took what the scientists said don't gather in large rallies and you said ah fuck it my personal opinion is more important than the scientists so i'm gonna go ahead and go out and do it and then when i'm called out in my hypocrisy i'll say but 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 there's a difference the other people did it worse all right do you have any evidence that like blm protest in particular caused a spike in covid why There's is that way. fucking relevant? Because I already went through the relevant evidence. Right. Did Dr. Fauci say there was a chance that rallies like this would spread the disease? Can you answer my question? Did Dr. Fauci say that uh, gatherings like this risk spreading the disease? Can you answer my question? Yes, I'll answer your question. Uh, yes. There were Black Lives Matter rallies up. and then there were increases in cases. There's your evidence. Now, can you answer my question? Did Dr. Fauci say that r gatherings like this risk spreading the disease? Yesterday I did sport, uh, like I did exercise in my home and the number of cases in France rise. Therefore, like uh, me doing sport in my house uh, is increasing the number. Like, can you make a direct link, you dumb fuck? Can you make a direct link to that gym? Yes. D Let's anything. see it. Let's see it. I already sent you the link. I read I that link and I, I read that link. I I'll bring it up on the channel right now. And nowhere did I see the name of that New Jersey gym. I didn't see who it anywhere. Who fucking cares? You're the one who wants reprieve from being called out in your hypocrisy by saying, but I'm in France. You say that You're the fucking one. How many I'm times do you do this fuck. shit? Why are you making it partisan when I talk about Republicans being the problem? Why are you talking about me being in France when I brought up being in France as a defense? You fucking idiot. You said I was in a protest and everything. Like what? I the did fuck not. Are you I said about? you celebrated people that were protesting. 
Oh, and they're not protesting France? Did you call out the people in France that were protesting the other day for violating social distance orders? Did you say they should be in jail? They they didn't did uh, they didn't do a protest in Dove. They didn't say to not wear masks. Uh, they didn't like yeah went to a place that is known to be a super spreader and say let's have a large gathering there. Do you understand the difference? Scientists said there were two door? things. Scientists. Do you basically... understand the difference between indoor and outdoor? No, I, what I understand is how hypocrites like you will always make defenses of when you break Not the law or break orders, and then say, "But other people doing it should be punished." That's what I understand.